Mr Peter. South at the moment, certainly more snow to come this afternoon in eastern areas. A real taste of the Arctic at the moment. The Met Office still has a weather warning in force, particularly for eastern counties of England through the rest of today, including the East Midlands. 10 to 15 centimetres of snow in places, but that really is irrelevant because of the strength of the wind. It's all blowing around, drifting blizzard conditions and really very dangerous driving conditions only head out if you have to now it's across eastern england but also across northern and eastern scotland further snow flurries likely through the rest of today and indeed into tonight and tomorrow morning you can see on the radar picture just how those uh, snow showers have been piling down from the north also on the radar you'll notice an area of cloud and rain which was a damp start across wales and also brought some snow to more central parts of southern england that is now moving away but those snow showers will continue to pepper eastern England and eastern Scotland through today, tonight and as I said into tomorrow morning before eventually showing signs of easing off but then more wet weather with some snow in advance of that moving in to the northwest. So it's eastern areas continuing to see those blizzards for the heavy snow showers this afternoon. Out to the west one or two snow showers here and there but some good sunny spells but everywhere it is bitterly bitterly cold. Top temperature three possibly four Celsius but it feels a lot colder than that. In the west feeling like minus six to minus eight. In the east Along that east coast of Lincolnshire, particularly the north coast of Norfolk, it feels more like minus 10, minus 11, minus 12 across northern Scotland. Now through tonight, we'll keep those showers of snow in eastern areas. Elsewhere, largely dry, but everywhere it's going to stay cold. Temperatures falling below freezing. A widespread frost and ice, I think, will be a big problem through tonight and for tomorrow morning. A slippery start to Friday morning. Many places will start off bright. Still one or two snow showers across Lincolnshire, East Anglia and the southeast. They'll be dying out through the day. The cloud increasing there all the time from the northwest with snow here. It will turn to rain as the day wears on. Always falling a snow, though, up over the higher parts of Scotland and that wet weather working its way into northern England by the end of the day. Temperature tomorrow is similar to today's, but it won't feel as cold because the winds won't be quite as strong. Those northerly winds eventually giving way. Still quite strong in the east at first, but then they die down. And then as we head into the weekend, a bit of a change. The winds start to come in from the west, so it won't be quite as cold. Those uh, west or northwesterly winds still bringing, though, a fair few showers, particularly to the northwest where there'll be of sleet and snow, and still in the southeast, some sleet and snow to get rid of at first on Saturday. That's it, Anna. Thanks, Alex. News with James Mates. Hello. There are extraordinary scenes this lunchtime on one of Britain's major motorways. The M11 in Essex looks more like a car park than a road, as hundreds of cars and lorries have ground to a halt because of the weather. Snowstorms, freezing temperatures and black ice have brought chaos to much of the country. But questions are already being asked about the failure of local authorities and the highway agency to do enough to grit the roads, even though they knew the snow was coming. With the latest, here's Catherine Jacob. It's been a night and morning of misery for travellers as freezing weather conditions meant much of Britain's transport network literally ground to a halt. Across the country, supermarkets and leisure centres have been transformed into havens for thousands of weary drivers. And at airports too, passengers faced severe delays, with hundreds of flights cancelled altogether. On the roads, the tales of despair have been pouring in. The M11 has been one of the worst affected. The northbound carriageway was shut down altogether and police say it resembled a car park. Several thousand drivers have been stranded all night. One of them is Charlotte Lamont. She's six months pregnant and has been trapped in her car since 7.30 yesterday evening. We've been here since 7.30 last night um, and basically we've moved about half a mile, um, which is it's fine, it's a little bit panicky at first, um, but then you get used to it until you need the toilet, which you inevitably do when you're pregnant. <laughs> and, you know, there's, there's quite high spirits and everything. People are obviously cold, they're tired, and we're all very, very hungry. So um, it's sort of, we're down to our last mints and Tic Tacs and no water or anything. At Milton in Cambridge, one branch of Tesco has been a haven for around 500 weary motorists stranded overnight on the A14. They've been heading there in their droves for hot food and drink and to share their tales of woe. I left Newmarket at half past six last night and I got woken up by a policeman at four o'clock this morning in my car and brought over here. We just want to go home, I think. I think we're just all tired and uh, we do, we're going home to bed. But it's not only drivers who've suffered. At airports, thousands of passengers have been stranded in departure lounges as the treacherous conditions take their toll on flights. Across the country, it's been a similar tale, with many people reporting a distinct lack of gritters 
Roads are frozen over and cars abandoned at the roadside. Weather experts say the freezing conditions will last throughout much of today, although the situation is likely to improve later. But once the snow's gone, one burning question remains. In 21st century Britain, why is our transport network so unable to cope? Catherine Jacob, 